Now I know, I know many of you are getting antsy waiting for your BYD electric cars to arrive. They're meant to be here next month. And I'm here to give you my opinion on whether or not that will actually happen or if in fact it's just a pipe dream. Hello my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Now, if you are a new subscriber, I will put some links in the description below to some of the videos I've made about BYD. Now they are one of the three largest electric vehicle companies on the face of the earth. In fact, they are currently the third largest battery manufacturer on the earth. They're ramping up their electric car production at an insane pace. The only other car company that's matching them on pace is Tesla. All these recent reports about Volkswagen overcoming, beating Tesla within the next 18 months. Wow. If you believe that stuff, I've got a bridge to sell you. The only company that has a chance in snowball's hell of beating Tesla is BYD. It is certainly not Volkswagen, Ford, General Motors, or any other legacy automotive company. Now that said, I have ordered a BYD Yen Plus, which is called the Atto 3 here in Australia. Apparently they're gonna, they're gonna call all the different BYD models Atto 1, Atto 2, Atto blah, 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 blah. Apparently the BYD seal is gonna be the Atto 4, then the EA1, the Atto 2. Now, I don't know if that'll happen or not, but that's what people in China are saying. How they know this information, I don't know. But anyway, I'll put some links in the description below too. In fact, you should check out my recent video I made about a review of the EA1, which I believe is a car that will absolutely change the marketplace completely. Why? I'm, you're talking here, right? A thirty to thirty-five thousand Australian dollar. So we're talking twenty-five thousand US dollar electric hatch, the size of a Toyota Corolla, which is just better than a Toyota Corolla in basically every way. Yeah, you can see how that is going to change things. Now, the Ado Three uh, went on sale a couple of months back here in Australia. For those of you who care, BYD has just delivered a bunch of electric cars to Costa Rica, Brazil, Philippines. They're coming to Singapore, coming to New Zealand. There's, anyway, the list goes on and on and on. I think there's about 15 different countries they're delivering electric cars to this year. So will they deliver them? Yes. You didn't pay for something that you're not going to get. You'll get it eventually, at least. But will it be next month? As you guys have been led to believe, Honestly, I'm not trying to clickbait you, but I think that is extremely, and I mean extremely unlikely. Why do I say that? Well, one big problem. First of all, yeah, sure. I'm sure that the distributor here in Australia of BYD cars can get the cars on a boat if they've been made yet, which we don't know if they have or not because that information hasn't been told to us by the distributor here in Australia. But that's it. It's not really that hard, is it, to drive them onto a boat and ship them down to Australia? But there's one big problem. Some of you have pointed this out. The BYD Atto 3 has not yet been crash tested despite five star safety claims. Now, if we really were going to get this car next month, which is 10 days away, then I think it would have been crash tested by now, don't you? Now, the next Chinese car brand to launch in Australia says it is guaranteed to have a five-star crash rating. But that's quite a claim when the vehicle hasn't even been crash tested yet and apparently it'll be delivered in only, what, three weeks from now. Those things to me don't stack up. Now, as I've reported previously, the vehicle that I've ordered, the upcoming BYD Addo 3 electric hatchback will cost starting from 45000 Australian dollars drive away, which is about 33000 US dollars. It's a very good price for what it is. It's meant to arrive next month and have a maximum driving range of 480 kilometers for the model that I ordered, which is the long range model, has a bigger battery pack. 3,000 Australian dollars more, you get the bigger battery pack. It's a no brainer in my view. Now, the vehicle is expected to pass routine regulatory safety requirements before it goes on sale locally. And when you look at the specifications of this car in China, I would expect that not to be an issue. But the fact that it is yet to be assessed by the Independent Safety Authority 
AMCAP, Australasian New Car Assessment Program, which sets a high safety bar, means that, well, I'm guessing there probably isn't any here. Otherwise, why wouldn't it have already been assessed? Why would the car not have already been looked at, right? If it was going to be here in two or three weeks, surely it would have already received its five-star AMCAP safety rating at least a few weeks before it arrives here in Australia for customers to actually pay for, to get delivery. Now, what I read, right, on drive.com.au, it's a popular Australian website, is that representatives for BYD in Australia say the BYD Addo 3 will launch locally with a five-star safety score. However, it may initially go on sale unrated until ANCAP completes a series of crash tests and collision avoidance assessments. Is it possible, is this possible that you can buy your car with it being unrated? What happens if it only gets a four-star safety score? What are they going to do then? Refund us? I mean, are they going to say, well, we, we promised in the um, marketing that it would have a five-star NCAP score, but it's only gotten four. So um, what do you want to do? I just don't think this is, I don't think this is possible. Come on. I mean, really? really? I don't see how this is going to fly with customers. And it could happen. Now, it is true that this is possible, right? Because some car companies complete ANCAP crash tests before a newly introduced vehicle arrives in local showrooms so they can advertise a five-star safety score from day one. But I've never heard of a company, right, releasing a vehicle, saying it will have a five-star ANCAP score, right, selling it to customers at an agreed-on price, but not having had it tested and not being able to prove it will get a five-star score and then potentially having to go back on that statement. This has never happened in Australian automotive history in the last 20 years that I'm aware of. Now, it is true that some car companies will wait several months after a newly introduced car has gone on sale locally due to production or development delays before a vehicle is submitted to ANCAP tests and issued with a star rating. That does happen. But I've never heard of this happening with a brand that's completely new to a country that's never been sold there before. And, well, it is a Chinese car, right? It does have, they do have different regulations and requirements in China. And I'm also very curious to know why they could not have gotten one here now in time. Doesn't add up to me. Now, what happens when this does happen, though, is that during this interim period, a vehicle is deemed unrated until it's been assessed by ANCAP, regardless of claims by vehicle manufacturers. Now, Drive says that ANCAP CEO Carla Horwig said, until we independently test and assess specific models or variants and officially publish a rating, it is not possible for a vehicle manufacturer or distributor to claim that a particular star rating will be awarded. So, ANCAP saying, we cannot guarantee this BYD vehicle will get five stars. To be awarded a five-star safety rating, new vehicles must undergo a series of crash tests and crash avoidance assessments and perform to certain standards. And those standards get harder and harder every year, right? They increase every year. Basically, if you bought a car five years ago and it had five stars back then, it's probably only a two-star now. These standards are pretty tough. Now, right, a vehicle's overall safety rating is based on the weakest result in any of the ANCAP crash tests and collision avoidance assessments. Now, apparently, BYD representatives have had preliminary discussions with ANCAP. However, a crash test schedule for the vehicle is yet to be established. So they haven't even established a schedule right? <laughs> this is where we're at right now. There's not even a schedule. It's not like, oh, we're going to do it in October. It's, um, no, there's nothing. Now, given the time required to complete a series of crash tests and collision avoidance assessments, it could be many months before ANCAP is able to issue a safety score for the BYD at 03. In other words, if the cars do come next month, if they do, it's extremely unlikely that you'll know whether your car is a five-star safety car for at least several months after having owned it. To me, I find that um, I'm willing to put up with it, but I'm not all that happy about it, put it that way. Now, Drive says that despite this timeline, the BYD Australia distributor remains confident the BYD Addo 3 will launch with a five-star safety rating. It's unclear if this means the Addo 3 could be delayed until such tests are completed, or if the tests can somehow be fast-tracked. Now, in a statement to drive last month in May, BYD Australia representative Luke Todd said, our process is commercial in confidence, but we will definitely be launching the Addo 3 with a five-star ANCAT rating. Now, clearly, okay, one or two things here has to happen. Um, 
Todd's wrong, right? And so therefore that statement is null and void. Because, right, how is this possible? He says, our process is commercial in confidence, but we will definitely be launching the Addo 3 with a five-star NCAT rating. It hasn't actually gone through this process yet. This process takes months and the car is going to be delivered next month. So how can it be launched with a five-star NCAT rating if we're going to get it next month? It can't. It's not possible. Only one of two things is possible, right? Either it doesn't come next month, it comes in a few months' time, and after which point they've already done the test, or we get them without a five-star NCAT safety rating. That's the only possibility at this point in time. Now, for those of you who are not aware of how the tests work, ANCAP allocates star rating safety scores based on a broad range of crash tests, including full width frontal side impact and oblique pole destructive tests, and controlled testing of a vehicle's advanced crash avoidance features. I don't think it'll have any problems, but you never know. It might. It's possible. It's happened before. A five-star ANCAP score is considered the highest safety endorsement here in Australia, and it's widely advertised by car companies. Many businesses and government fleets require a five-star safety rating for employee vehicles. Now, sometimes what can happen, right, is that European scores based on European NCAP safety tests are adopted by the Australian body here, as the two independent agencies have aligned their testing requirements. They're pretty similar, right? But the BYD 803 has not yet been assessed in Europe, so that's not possible. That rules out that possibility. According to EV Direct's website, that outlines key details of the 803. The vehicle comes with a long list of safety features, right? It includes seven airbags, anti-lock brakes, stability control, traction control, autonomous emergency braking, collision warning, blind spot monitoring, lane keeping assistance, and rear cross traffic alert. So that's a pretty good suite of features. It seems like there's a chance based on that, probably a better than a better than odds on chance, I'd say a pretty good chance, that it will get a five star score. But it won't if they're delivered next month. If they're delivered next month, you'll have to wait and find out what that score is and just hope that it's five. Because if it's not, well, tough luck. Now I have heard an interesting rumor, right? Apparently, somehow there are two Australian BYD Addo 3s going through five star Euro and kept testing in Europe. I'm not sure why that's happening. Clearly BYD plan on selling them in Europe, I'd say. However, this person also said that an Addo 3, BYD Addo 3, will be given to ANCAP here in Australia in June this month for testing. However, it's now the 21st of June and I've heard nothing about it in the media. Seems unlikely that if that had happened, we wouldn't have heard anything about it. Now, one thing is important to remember here, right? This is probably one of the safest vehicles you could buy in the world, period. That's the truth, right? I'm not just saying that because I ordered it, but the reality is, look at the BYD blade battery tests, right? They ran over the thing with a freaking truck. They pierced it with a nail. They put it back in a car. It still worked. You can't do that with normal lithium batteries in 90% of cars, right? You can only do that with lithium ion phosphate batteries, and in particular, blade batteries from BYD, which are incredibly reliable, incredibly safe. You are way, you're like a thousand times more likely to burn in a fireball in a crash from an internal combustion engine vehicle than you are from a BYD vehicle. That's just reality. There's just no way of getting around that. I've done enough videos now. I've done enough research on this topic to know I'm not talking nonsense that that is true. Is this car going to be safe? Yes, it is. However, this kind of advertising to me could be done better. Communication. Have you guys received an email telling you you're going to get your car next month? I haven't. Have you? I mean, that would be nice. Be nice to hear what's going on with my car because I'm kind of excited to get it. If you're direct, let us know what's going on. Look forward to hearing from you soon. And as always, let me know in the comments section below if you agree or you disagree. I'm just one person and I'm sure there's other people out there with inside information that I haven't heard about. And I'd love to know what that is. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.